Hey everybody, it's Amy from the Run, Eat, Drink podcast at runeatdrink.net. We're at our second stop on our trip down to Key West to run the southernmost half marathon. And we have just arrived in Isla Mirada and we're at the Isla Mirada Beer Company, which is also a distillery. And they make rum and vodka and gin here, in addition to several beers that look really tempting. So we had to get a flight. No worries, I just want you to know, I'm not driving. I'm the taster. The cameraman is driving. I'm driving. So we're always safety first. So we got a flight of six of their beers to try, and we tried to vary it up and get a whole spectrum of all the different light and dark beers all over the map. And the first one we have is called Island Tea. And it interested me because it's Earl Grey Tea Beer. And I mean, it looks kind of amber in color. Well, it looks kind of like tea. It really does. Yeah. And it's 4.8%. So not really high in the alcohol by volume, and it's 22 IBU, so it shouldn't be all that bitter either. So here we go with this. Mmm. So I would think it's, it tastes a whole lot like an ale would taste, like a wheat ale. But, um, and the tea flavor is very, very subtle. It's not too bitter, not hoppy. And I, I think... Now, Earl Grey tea is an acquired taste for a lot of people. Is it really overpowering? No, it's very subtle, I think. So, I mean, you want to have a little sippy. Oh, I see what you mean. You see what I mean? It's not really Earl Grey tea forward. It's a nice light body so that you could sip it on a hot day, which... It is. Uh, which is very hot and humid out here <laughs> in the Keys as we're taking our trip down to Key West. Okay, so that one's a winner. I like it. I would get it again. Okay. So, and I recommend it if you like a wheat kind of ale. That's what I think. Good call. So, this is number 36 on their board. Shipwrecked rum uh, barrel aged ale. And it comes in a small pour because it is an 8% and 30 IBU, so a little bit higher on that bitterness kind of scale. And they have their own rum barrels here on premises. Mmm. Now I like it. It is a little bit on the bitter side, on the finish, but it's um, it's not really heavy. I like it. It's not like, you know, when you get a barrel-aged kind of stout where you get that thick, heavy body sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice and light for a barrel-aged beer. You get the sweetness at the beginning, but you're right, you get that yeah. hint of, the hint of the rum barrel at the end. Yeah. A little oakiness, a little right? sugar. Yeah. So, I like it. I like it. This next one is a little lighter in the color in terms of yellow. This, this one is, now we're getting into the Key West feel, um, or the Keys feel, I guess. This is the Key Lime Blonde Ale, 3.9% and 18 IBU. It's a very light color. Yeah, see that? And I'm expecting key lime flavor, so. Ooh, it's hoppy. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting sweeter for something that's called key lime or like a tart kind of finish. But I get a hoppy finish. It's light. And I get the citrus up front. So, I think... I like the color on that. Yeah, it's a really pretty color. 
but it's not like a key lime pie in your mouth. Okay. You know? So that's that's what I think. So it's key lime without being gimmicky. Yeah. It doesn't have an artificial flavor as if you had some kind of, you know, like extract added yeah. or something like that. We've had some of those beers and they are not you know what I mean? easily successful. Yeah, so this one, this was number five, No Wake Zone Coconut Key Lime Blonde Ale, which is 5% and 14 IBU in terms of the bitterness scale. This one I think is a little, like that was really a light blonde. This is kind of more golden blonde in color. As the ladies would say on women drinking beer, Belle's dress. Yeah, well, I think it's close to that, right? Shout out to them. Yeah, women drinking beer. Cheers, because I'm a woman drinking beer. <laughs> okay, I'll get serious now. So this is coconut key lime. Coconut key lime. Ooh, you get the coconut. Ooh, yeah. More coconut and not so much key lime. So you're not getting a lot of tartness there? Mm -mm. No. Um, I mean, you get a citrus flavor, but it's there's there's not any kind of kapow, it's lime, key lime. It's The coconut is right up front. I like it, though. It's not hoppy. Um, and it's not overly sweet, like it's not a dessert kind of beer, but it's like a weedy consistency. Oh, you, you smell the coconut. Yeah, you, you smell it, it, but you also taste it up front. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I like that one. I would have a whole pint of that one. This one is number three on their board. No Tan Lines Citrus Wheat Blend. Citrus Wheat Blend. It smells weedy. 4.8% and 17 IBU. So lower on the IBU scale mm -hmm. and another wheat, which we like wheat. Well, we're big fans of wheat. I picked three on the board and our cameraman picked three. This was one of his choices. You're welcome, internet. It's a little bit bitter on the end. But the citrus, the citrus flavor is there. I can imagine myself drinking this on the beach with a lighter body like that. It's very, all the, the, the wheat-based beers, they, they have that lighter, easy drinking kind of consistency. I that think quality. They tend to be less hoppy and more. Yeah, um, not bitter. More around 5% for mm -hmm. me, which is good. Easy drinking and you could you could have more than one if you're out there doing some beach volleyball. Yeah, that one's that one's unique. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's it's good. And then this final one we have on the flight. This one is the darkest of all the ones that we have. This would be Snake Creek Oatmeal Stout. Oatmeal Stout, which I mean Stouts we're big fans of, oatmeal flavors we love. 5.3 ABV and 20 on the IBU scale. Ooh, I got a brown sugar on the finish somehow. Yeah. It's not overly sweet. I just got I kind of like inhaled on the back end some, some of that brown sugar flavor. It's smooth. It's not a really thick kind of stout. So it's lighter than say a Yeti. Or a Marshall Zukov. Or a Marshall Zukov, which is really like almost syrup. But you're, but are excellent. But they are great, but they're, you can't, I wouldn't be able to drink one after the other. No. You know what I mean? So. I think that one is a lighter body. Not overly sweet, but you can, you get the essence of like a brown sugar. If you like Founders. Yeah, that's a great like one. Founders Breakfast Stout, yeah. very similar. So these, I think, uh, of all of them, uh, uh, the coconut key lime, that's really good. 
the stout is really good. I think overall they have a lot of winners on their draft list here at the Isla Mirada Beer Company. Um, low ABV, not too high on the bitterness scale, not too hoppy overall as a collection of beers that they brew here. That's probably smart given that their brewery and distillery sits right on US-1. Yeah. It's designed for you to basically pull off the side of the road and come in and have a pint. Yeah. So the beers are skewing towards the sessionable side as opposed to have mm -hmm. one we're going yeah. to call you a ride. Yeah, and I think it has a really, this whole place has a beachy feel. Um, the the outdoor, a beach in here. yeah, they have a beach in here, out back, the patio has a really nice feel. Uh, it's pet friendly too, out back. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, and I'm not gonna lie, I might have sampled a couple of their rum offerings earlier and it's definitely worth taking a look at. So if you're planning kind of a road trip to Key West, for any, any, of any of the keys, for any reason, this would be a great little place to come sample some delicious beer, stay a while before hopping back on the road. We have a little food in the cooler over there too. Yeah, there's a little bit of food in the cooler. There's some great uh, swag that they have that you can pick up. And you can see their little rum distillery in there. That's their award-winning rum distillery. So. I recommend this place, or if you're out there at some kind of um, restaurant or bar that offers one of these beers, order one. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Until next time, it's Amy from the Runny Drink Podcast at runnydrink.net. Let us know where we should accomplish, explore, and indulge along with you next. And do you not know that they have little, they have pint glasses, but they're not, they're silicone. They're silicone pint glasses here. I think that's so cute. In case you drop your beer. Yeah.